Hello everyone, my name is Sasha Precare, and I am so excited to be with you on this first little lesson of the History B unit in studyforthebee.com. So, today I will be talking about something interesting, something cool to get us started off, um, and that's going to be the ranks in the U.S. Army. And um, it's very fun, uh, very exciting topic. So, let's just dive in. Okay. So, in the U.S. Army, you start out as an officer cadet. Then you move up to second lieutenant. After that, you are promoted to lieutenant or first lieutenant. After that, major. Then, lieutenant colonel. After that is colonel. Now, these first few ranks have normal insignias, um, those cool belt patches. Um, everything is quite normal with them. Now, when you go one rank higher than this, Brigadier General, this is when you start with the stars in the insignia. Brigadier General is a one-star command general. Major General, after this, is a two-star command general. And many of the United States presidents have actually been either a brigadier or a major general in the U.S. Army. Alexander Hamilton, um, one of our founding fathers, um, was a, a major general. Um, so yeah, m many of our men. Um, after major general is lieutenant general. Lieutenant general is um, a three-star rank, pretty. Um, Hi, um, you have a full squadron to command there. After this, you hit general. Now, general is usually the main thing associated with the U.S. Army. It's the main head of command, and um, it is very good command to hold. It is a four-star rank, very powerful. Um, so. It is a very prestigious rank to hold, and it's a nice one to hold. After general, you hit the five-star rank. Five-star rank of general of the army. General of the army. Now, this has only been held by nine men in the U.S. Army. Among these are Dwight D. Eisenhower. And these are very, very prestigious generals like Douglas MacArthur who have commanded huge forces and helped us a lot. Um, after this, you hit possibly the coolest general title ever. General of the Armies. So remember, five-star is general of the army. But this rank, considered to be a six-star rank, is general of the Armies. And this has only been held by two men in history. Let's list them. So, the first one to be named a general of the armies is John J. Pershing. And he won this medal for his valiant service for America in World War II on the North African front fighting against um, major Axis generals from Germany and Italy, such as Rommel the Fox. And um, his extremely good coordination and precision in attacks led him to become general of the armies. The second one might surprise you. A few hundred years after his death, General George Washington, the founder of our country, yes, the father of our country, was posthumously, that means after his death, awarded the title of General of the Armies. Now, there is something special about his title. It is senior to all ranks in the U.S. Army. So even if you do get that rank of General of the Armies, you can never get higher than General George Washington. He founded our country. So, those are the ranks of the army. Um, uh, let's go into the navy ranks. 
So, you start with a midshipman, and then go to an ensign, sub-lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant commander, commander, after this is captain, then commodore. Commodore is a nice rank that is not really attached to the U.S. Army. It is just specifically in the Navy and the Air Force, so it's a kind of rare rank. Rear Admiral, Vice Admiral, then Admiral, just as we can think of Vice President and President. Then there is Fleet Admiral. Fleet Admiral is the second highest rank you can get in the um, U.S. Navy. Um, this is uh, said to be equal to General of the Armies. Remember that? Uh, General of the Army, that five-star rank. After this is Admiral of the Navy. Now, this is the highest rank you can earn in the United States military and is an extremely good command to hold. It's only been held by one person, Dewey. And he was awarded it for his superior control and um, tactical skills on the field, which is what everyone's awarded it for, huh? And it's equal to the six-star rank of General of the Armies. And, um, yeah, that is my summary of um, the ranks in the Army and the ranks in the Navy. I hope you enjoyed. Um, see you next time on PrepareForTheBee.com.